Shalom everyone, God bless you. This is Simone with Purify Your Heart with Simone V. Happy New Year. Many blessings to you guys. I know it's been a while, but the Lord, uh, there's been a lot happening and you know, sometimes there's a need for a, a mini pause as well. But the Lord wanted you and hopefully you are and have been sitting with him in the secret place and just worshiping everything that we've taught on this channel and in this ministry. So Father, we thank you for this word over 2022. We thank you for the good year, Lord, and what you mean by this, we will, will be revealed fully in due season. But as the words come out of my mouth, Lord, let it speak to the spirit and the heart of your people, those you've already planted uh, deep secrets and thoughts in the secret place to them, that it shall come to pass in this year of 2022. Father, we thank you for your stewardship. We thank you that you draw us to go deeper and deeper with you, Lord, that no man, no woman can stop the plans you have over our life, Lord, no spirit can stop what you have ordained since the foundations of the world. So we thank you, Father, that your word does not come back void, Father. We thank you for your Holy Spirit that is with us, that is guiding us and leading us unto salvation in the name of Jesus, Lord. We thank you for your blood that was shelled on Calvary and that covers us every day and protects us. And we loose your angels according to Psalm 91 to continue to protect our household, continue to protect our families, our destinies, for your name's sake, for your glory, for your power, your authority is with us and over us and in us. Help us to be more like you, Lord, every day. Thank you for those kind people, Lord, those kind spirits that come in our path and that we continue to be those people to those you lead us to, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, bless them and give them the year of favor that you've so deemed for them, for your children that are seeking you daily, Lord, that have been waiting patiently on you and continue to disciple and guide those who need to understand, to need to see you in the flesh who need to understand you by those who say they are called by your name in jesus mighty name we pray amen hallelujah hallelujah god bless you guys so the lord gave me this word a couple weeks ago and the first thing he said to me was the good year hallelujah 2022 the good year right so this is a prophetic word for over the year hallelujah and it will come to pass for people in different ways but specifically for the remnant hallelujah right and for me we know the number 22 is very profound in the bible but for me also personally 22 it's my birthday 22 means double 22 favor hallelujah and he gave me a couple of scriptures but he said that what this means is this is the year of the good shepherd hallelujah this is the year of the good shepherd hallelujah that you as his children will continue to be led and drawn deeper into worship with him hallelujah deeper this is the year that you will be led even more strongly by him the ultimate good shepherd hallelujah but that you will also be led by those he is called by his name hallelujah that you will wake up and your discernment shall rise for those who you should be listening to discipling discipling yourself and also being discipled by hallelujah right we know that he is the ultimate shepherd but he has called us to be disciples hallelujah He's, he's also said, and that's why he want, wanted me to wait as well. The last word I gave was the dunamis power of God, that he was moving mightily, right? And that word is still in effect because he's saying this whole year, you're going to see it is a dunamis year, he said, that his hand is going to move mightily, hallelujah. His abundance, his favor, his grace, and his justice, hallelujah. Right, He said, this is the year that the Lord makes good, that he makes good on his promises to the faithful, to the righteous, to the remnant. Hallelujah. Right. Some of you have stepped into that. Right. You stepped into it briefly in 2021. But he's saying now he's going to move you to step into it fully. Hallelujah. To step into your promised land. Some of you have more than one promised land. And I'm all, right now I'm talking about physical spaces. Some of you have more than one. Hallelujah. But he's pushing you into position. Hallelujah. Right. This is the Ephesians 3 and 20. Now to him to, who is able to do immeasurably more than we can ask or think. Hallelujah right he is able to do it if you would trust him and believe hallelujah the isaiah 22 and 22 he's saying what he opens no man can shut and what he shuts no man can open hallelujah hallelujah he knows he said that at the end of this past year 2021 
right? And I felt it like the attacks were heavy. The enemy was after your life, literally, right? But the Lord kept you because the enemy cannot take what God has ordained, what God has placed in the earth to live and to do his will and to purpose. Hallelujah. So he has kept many of you, many of the remnant, right? Because of the hatefulness, the wickedness, the jealousy of, of people that have the spirit of the enemy in them that will not let go. But the Lord's saying they shall let go. They've already let go. Hallelujah. Because the Lord's mighty hand is upon them and they have to let go. Hallelujah. They have to let go. That wicked spirit shall be cast out of them. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. But for his people, he's saying he's making, he wants you to make that move. For some of you specifically, again, this is a territorial move. Make the move. Some of you have already kind of like slowly been transitioning, but he's saying make the move. Hallelujah. Right? He's going, he's already speaking to you and he's asked you, make the move and the door will open. He's saying, Hallelujah. This is a year of total trust, of obedience, of love. Hallelujah. Right? It's the year of double favor. He is going to give you double favor. Why? This when again, 2-2 two, two is a very powerful number. Hallelujah. It is a year of double favor. Right? Also a year of justice. A year of dealing with the enemies of God, your enemies. Hallelujah. Right? Who tried to take out your life. Who tried to take your life. The Lord said, but they shall not succeed. Hallelujah. It will only make you stronger. Hallelujah. We know the scripture. What the enemy meant for evil, God makes it for good. And that's exactly what this whole year is about. What the enemy meant for evil, God is going to turn it around completely in an instant this year. Hallelujah. This is the good year, says the living God. Hallelujah. This is the year that every area of your life that the enemy meant for evil... The Lord is turning for your good, hallelujah, to bless you, to keep you, hallelujah, to make his face shine upon you, says the living God, hallelujah. And those who will not listen, those who will not heed the warning in this word or did not in the past years, they're going to have to deal with the wrath of God, hallelujah. And he doesn't want you, beloved, to dishonor your throne, dishonor your position by continuing to associate yourself when he says to let go of those, some of those people he's talking about that you know already. Hallelujah. Do not break the covenant, he's saying. Remember your covenant that you made with the living God. Hallelujah. And for those who've been leading his people astray, Jeremiah 14 and 14, verse 14 to 15, he's saying this. Then the Lord said to me, the prophets are prophesying lies in my name. I have not sent them or appointed them or spoken to them. Hallelujah. They are prophesying to you false visions, divinations, and idolatries and the delusions of their own minds. Therefore, this is what the Lord says about the prophets who are prophesying in my name i did not send them yet they are saying no sword or famine will touch this land he's speaking of the false prophets that he's going to deal with many of them and he already has and he's going to continue and some of you know these people but you have to heed your ears and stop letting itchy ears control you hallelujah listen if you fine tune your time with the holy spirit the holy spirit's going to tell you who you should align yourself with. Hallelujah. And if you cannot hear, that means you need to step away and get into the secret place, fast and pray, and get into the word. Allow the Holy Spirit to tune your ears to his spirit. Hallelujah. And Jeremiah 15, verse 19 to 20, the Lord saying, therefore, it is. this is what the Lord says. If you repent, meaning to those people, if you repent, I will restore you that you may serve me, right? Because again, some of these people the Lord did call, but they came out of timing and out of position. And some of them he did not, hallelujah. If you utter worthless, not worthless words, if you utter worthy, not worthless words, you will be my spokesman if they will repent. Let this people turn to you, but you must not turn to them, hallelujah, right? These people 
They're swayed by man's opinion. They're swayed by the masses. And the Lord's going to deal with those people. Hallelujah. Verse 20. I will make you a wall to this people. A fortified wall of bronze. They will fight against you. But you will not. But will not overcome you. For I am with you to rescue and to save you. Declares the Lord. Hallelujah. 21. I will save you from the hands of the wicked. And redeem you from the grasp of the cruel. Hallelujah. Right, the living God is saying, those in the remnant, those you know you've been seated at the right hand of the Father, you continue to press in. It has been, 2021 was one of the most grueling years. Why? Also because a lot of the promises, the seeds, the fruit of those promises were coming up. They were coming to pass and the enemy was trying to push it back, but he cannot. He cannot. He's only setting it up for what the Lord is going to do. Hallelujah, right? Again, what the devil, what the enemy meant for evil, the Lord is using for good. Hallelujah. This is your year. Hallelujah. This is the year of the good shepherd. This is the year of our Lord through you that you're going to shine brighter. You're going to move deeper in the spirit. You're going to do what the Holy Father has asked you to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the year that things will come to fruition. This is the year you will see the full manifestation. Hallelujah. And this is a strong time. The Lord saying a time of healing because what the enemy meant for Eva again at the end of the year, some of it was accidents, you know, or just vehicle things with the weather, but the Lord, and, and some of it was in your body, but the Lord is bringing mass healing. Hallelujah. For those of you who still need healing. And I've said this in other words. You, you pray, you plead the blood of Jesus over you, hallelujah, and by his stripes you are healed in the name of Jesus. But you have to, by faith, continue. Some, some healings take time. So put on what you are led by the Spirit to listen to, meaning healing scriptures, hallelujah. Put the Bible on audio. I've said this many times over the years. As you go to sleep, that will continue to renew your mind as your body is healing. It's commanding your mind, commanding your body to heal. Hallelujah. So we command healing over you now in the name of Jesus. Right? We know the enemy has and continues to plot, but it doesn't matter. God's power trumps everything. God's power rules over all. He is sovereign. Hallelujah. He is sovereign. Hallelujah. So do not be afraid. Do not be dismayed. That was something the enemy was trying to do to bring fear from 2021 into 22. But the Lord cut him off. He cut it short. Hallelujah. And remember, the Lord's saying that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Hallelujah. All things, all things. When he says all, he means all. Right. And the Lord has allow some of you to step into positions where you will be promoted says the living god hallelujah but some of those positions were positions you were afraid to take at first but you jumped and the lord says i've kept you and i will continue because no fear shall overtake my people says the living god hallelujah and not this year especially hallelujah because why yes 20 and 21 was a launching into the decade but 20 this year the two because of the double it is a solidifying of what is happening in the decade hallelujah it is a solidifying of it hallelujah and god is up to something powerful something powerful in every one of our lives so he's saying to stay faithful hallelujah because the thing with the, the enemy, he always wants to make people of God give up just at the last moment. Just at the moment when the Lord is going to fulfill what he's spoken. Hallelujah. Right? If you need to go back to the hall of faith in the Bible in Hebrews, do so. All the people, right? And all those people that God made promises. And yes, some were generational. But this is the time the Lord's saying, you as a part of the generation, like the Davids, hallelujah, the Josephs, right, that have, have gone through so much to help break generational curses, yes, but just to, in your own right, stand up and to be the hands and feet of God in the earth, right? The hands and feet of Christ. That's what it means. You're going to go through things. 
But the Lord's saying, because you've suffered with me, you shall rise with me. You shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the good year. This is the year of the good shepherd. And his people who are called by his name, if they would humble themselves and pray, he will heal their land, right? When we talk about land, it's not just physical. It's your body. It's your spirit. It's your mind. It's your temple. It's everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the Lord saying, do not give up. Do not give in, right? The devil likes to speak a lot of lies, but the Lord is pushing him back mightily. The army of heaven is moving mightily. Hallelujah. On behalf of God's children. Hallelujah. So continue to speak life and not death. Some of you have gone back and forth, back and forth with the words towards the end of this, this year because you weren't seeing it. And God's like, this is the beginning of those seeds. They're coming out now. You shall, it shall spring forth, says the living God. Hallelujah. You shall spring forth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those who are resilient, those who are steadfast in the kingdom, those are the ones that will produce. Those are the ones that will see the fruit of their labor. So the Lord's saying, don't give up. Continue on, beloved. Hallelujah. Right? Continue in the secret place. Continue in obedience this year continue in love in mercy right we know that hallelujah everything you sow you shall reap so if you've been planting good seeds don't give up just at the point where you're going to reap them says the living god hallelujah and some of you are continuing to reap them and, and seeing those buds and and fruits coming to fruition hallelujah so do not give up hallelujah in the name of jesus Father, we thank you for this word. We thank you for the good year, the launching, the dunamis year, where you will shake the nations. You will shake the earth continually. Hallelujah. So that your people will continue to get in position and stay there to rule and reign in this hour and take authority for what you died for. Hallelujah. That they will not just build a name here for themselves. They will build the salvation and the foundation that you've given them for eternity. Hallelujah that others may come to know your saving grace, your saving name. Hallelujah. Yeshua HaMashiach, we thank you, Father, for your sacrifice, your love, your guidance. For without you, we are nothing. We are like dust. Hallelujah. So we thank you, Father, for having us to stay faithful, to stay in that place that you have so you have so labored for your people and that we enter into this rest, this place of rest with you hallelujah as we continue to do the work but in a place of rest of peace of love of forgiveness hallelujah in the name of jesus father we thank you for this word we love you we honor you we thank you for your people lord that they will continue to be steadfast and faithful that they will continue to come to you as the good shepherd the ultimate shepherd and that your word does not come back void that they would believe and trust in Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So God bless you guys. Thank you so much for all those who continue to stay with this ministry over the years. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As I know, I think I said it in the last video like I, I have a position right now, so I'm the Lord's making going to make me do something where I can spend more time with you guys because you know, I can't necessarily jump, do a video. Well, and he wanted me to pause because, again, of what was happening at the end of the year. Hallelujah. But he's saying, you know, this year that we're entering into, be faithful. Continue to do what he's asked of you. Hallelujah. And I just personally want to thank you, bless you, honor you. Thank you for your prayers, your support, and prayers financially every way. You have no idea. No idea. And... When the time comes, I will be able to reveal everything because, again, I go through what you go through beforehand. Hallelujah. But the Lord is so faithful, so good, so merciful, and he's literally kept my life. He's literally, I know, kept some of your life, like, meaning, you you know, the enemy has tried, and that's what, what he does, right? And as people, children, children of God, so we fear not. We fear not because our God is mighty and he is warrior angels, mighty, fierce angels battling. And so he's saying because of that rest and how you rest, like I always say on this channel, you worship, you stay in the word fast, 
All right, when the Lord leads you to fast, everything is not always. So there's a time he's saying to rest in him, rest in his love, his peace, his joy, right? And just sit with him and you can, so you can hear him better and that you can obey him. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Obedience doesn't mean you're not going to go through things. It's just that God covers you. He covers you and because you're obeying him and things happen, but he's covering you, right? Because he loves you and because you're doing what he's asking you to do. It builds your resilience. It builds your faithfulness. It builds your trust in the Father. Hallelujah. And your relationship. Because he wants his children to know how much he loves you. And also what he put inside you that must come out. Hallelujah. In due season. Every season has its position. Has its place. Right? Just like Ecclesiastes tells us. And a time for everything. So don't rush also. But don't. Don't stay in one position, he's saying, right? Stay, be diligent to do what he asks you, but don't be rushed and fooled by the enemy as well. Hallelujah. That's why we pray and we get clarity. And most of all, continue. I pray for continual clarity for you guys and discernment over the moves of God in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God bless you guys. I love you. The Lord loves you most of all. You know this. And those who don't know him, that you will come to seek him because there is nothing on this planet, in this realm that can give you more joy, more peace, more love, more clarity. Nothing. No person, no thing, no position, nothing. Then our father, hallelujah, and your relationship with him and his son and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So God bless you guys. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for just this year staying with the ministry and again i will be able to god is just doing mighty mighty things and a lot of times we grow as people as children of god through adversity yes but then through the waiting hallelujah through the uh, through all of it right everything has a has a place hallelujah so god bless you i am excited for this year it is going to be a powerful powerful year hallelujah a powerful year so god bless you guys i love you the lord loves you shalom